Uh, one concern about using C is that it is possible to get uh, index out of bounds errors. Uh, that is uh, also called a buffer overflow. And to hack an uh, important uh, site or program server somewhere uh, using exploiting a buffer overflow is uh, one way to do it. And uh, that's, uh, that may be a problem or it is not a problem. Uh, one, uh, in my view, it, uh, well, it doesn't matter my view, but, uh, but uh, of course it's a concern if uh, society breaks down uh, due, due to buggy C programs. That would be very unfortunate, but um, the reason uh, that we have such buffer overflows, it's simply because programmers were not uh, sufficiently uh, careful. And uh, how to avoid being careless and getting over buffer overflows? Well, the first thing is uh, use uh, Valgrind and uh, the Google Sanitizer to test your code. But that's not sufficient. It, can, uh, it will not prove that the code is correct. But this is the most important. <laughs> Don't trust untrusted data. It may sound uh, as very trivial, but uh, it's uh, really what it all boils down to. Um, buffer overflow, it, they typically happen if uh, someone uses a function that doesn't check for the size of a buffer. A buffer that's uh, usually um, an array or a pointer to some data, of course, uh, but just so that we use the same words. And uh, if, um, <coughs> if somebody uh, thinks that um, this uh, this request will read uh, one line of data into into a buffer. Say say we we have uh, an array car a line and declare it as well one hundred okay and then use a dangerous function such as gets it's uh, uh, really bad to use. We will see what happens if you use it in a while. But what, the, what this does is to, it uh, reads input from standard in and uh, writes uh, everything uh, here until it comes to a new line. If it comes to a new line. And uh, that's a, a very bad way to to write code since it, it trusts the, the, the data and one should never trust the data. Uh, or mm, one should not trust the, many other things either. Uh, okay, so if we get unknown data, then how should we uh, deal with it? Well, we have to check uh, the sanity of, of, uh, of a request. So we can uh, we can use an uh, um, well. I, I mean, what we need to do is to is does this make uh, make sense or is this an unreasonable request and uh, it should just be uh, rejected? Okay. So uh, there is also a problem of overflow. How can we know that there is an overflow? As we just saw uh, in the compare function, which looked uh, on the pre in the previous video uh, for QSort, uh, then it looked uh, very harmless to do uh, like this, but it was not. And uh, so when there is a risk of overflow and we really cannot tolerate uh, having an uh, signed overflow, then we must check it explicitly. That's the only way. And 
uh, how to do that that's a, a, a really uh, detailed uh, part I mean it, it is not uh, uh, trivial to, to check everything uh, especially for instance uh, multiplication and um, what we, what we uh, need well I will not cover it in, in this course uh, but one can test uh, in advance when you have the the, the data in the variables to see if this will result in an overflow. Uh, an, another way is to use the sanitizer and um, as, I, as we saw in the previous video um, to check if we think that our program has no overflows. For instance in the int opt program or, or the other assignments or actually the assignments we can test that and it's not a super big risk or I mean we can get the signed overflow if we you in RPN for instance but it's not the well it's quite harmless so it's it's not the, um, worthwhile to check this but if uh, you have um, a, pro a server and or a program that is really uh, critical to uh, society, uh, then it had better work. Okay, so how can we check uh, this in uh, Java? Does it give an exception if there is a signed integer overflow? Is this a problem in Java? For sure it is. And what one needs to do is to find a Java virtual machine which does this this checks. Uh, I don't know if there is one, but um, maybe there is, maybe there isn't. Uh, if there is, then we can do, do the same things as in uh, with this, the sanitizer. Okay, so um, that was that about avoiding uh, buffer overflows. Um, there is a function called sprintf. It takes, uh, it behaves exactly as printf, but it, instead of printing to uh, standard output, it prints uh, everything to a buffer in buffer instead, and it is assumed that this buffer is sufficiently large. Okay, so really we should do like that. Danger. Instead, we should use this one. And it has, uh, uh, it's similar to sprintf, but it has an additional parameter uh, with the size of this buffer. Okay, so that's better to use.